Hello everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you how to encrypt sensitive data used in Spring Boot property files as example encrypting data source credentials. In contrast to using Spring Cloud or Actuator, we will take a manual approach. So let's get started. So for our demo I prepared this REST API. At this endpoint, this is my Spring Boot application. In my POM file I have things that I need, web starter and data GPE and in my application YAML file as you see here I define a data source configuration normally Spring Boot will create data source based on this information there is no need to create any bin for that to demonstrate the encryption I added this controller here I defined this endpoint it should return this value injected from the property files so now the password is in plain text let's run the test or let's check in the browser server started and as you see here localhost the password is in plain text now our goal is to encrypt this information so let me show you how to do that so as already said there is many ways to encrypt data in the property files like spring cloud or actuator or spring vault however today we will take a manual approach for that I prepared a class, this one, in security package, custom encryption util, a simple one, based on this class here. As you see, I defined my class here. It has this constructor and it accepts key and you define, you specify the algorithm. So the algorithm is the advanced encryption standard and two methods, one to encrypt the data and one to decrypt. So encryption and decryption use the same key. So I will show you how to generate this key and where to store it. So I prepared another tool, this one. It used the same class and it has this entry point with cell i main method just to when you call the class without any argument, it will generate the key that you can use to encrypt or decrypt the data. A small demo for this class. I already created the jar file and as always you will find the source in github so now let's generate the key when calling the jar without key so this is my key and now let's encrypt the data for example jar i want to encrypt this so you have to enter this encrypt test and you provide the key as you see the data has been encrypted now we can reverse we can decrypt the data decrypt instead of undone after that you need to provide the key and the, and the encrypted data and as you see the data has been decrypted so we are using the same function here we need to define it as bin and we are providing this key generated manually there is other ways you can store this key or define this key as environment variable or put it in or define it in another rest api it is up to you and now let's see if this will work however we need to adjust instead of this clear or plain text we will call this method using sel language this is the bin defined in spring board and this is the function and this is the encrypted password so now we have encrypted password instead of plain text so let's run as you see IntelliJ is complaining we we got some errors and because the data source doesn't cope with this trick here with this information i will show you how to get around this but despite this the server is up and we can check here in the browser and we see that the password is in plain text now what is the issue with the data source the data source as a spring boot use auto configuration to create the data source but this doesn't work with this constellation to get around this you need to define the data source explicitly so usually in spring boot it is best practice to define the data source instead of relying of what spring boot provides so what i did i took this simple class to generate the data source and i inject all this information here and as you see as normal properties injected in the password and we annotate this with configuration to be detected now let's rerun and check the log again 
and as you see now Springboard was able to use the encrypted information to create the data source so i hope this was helpful for you thanks for watching and bye